Here we have a Netgear a wireless N router running at uh, 2.4 and 5 uh, gigahertz with uh, a modem from RCA. Uh, the primary emitter is the Netgear uh, router and as you can see on the EM2 meter uh, there's pulsed uh, communications going on continuously ranging from about 5 microwatts per square centimeter up to as much as, as 0 0.1 milliwatts per square centimeter depending on uh, uh, what it's communicating. The common vacuum fluorescent bulb, the so-called uh, CFL bulb, is actually uh, a very large emitter of radiation. So here we're going to turn it on and show you. As you can see, as you come close to the bulb, the reading goes almost to the very top. That's uh, between 10 and 40 milliwatts per square centimeter. This is a Samsung Android cell phone that has Wi-Fi capability. And we're now going to turn on the Wi-Fi. And we'll see that the pulses uh, communication between 1 microwatt per square centimeter and occasionally up to 0 0.01 milliwatts per square centimeter. This is a Panasonic DECT6 cordless phone operating at 1.92 gigahertz in the microwave region. Maximum power is 115 milliwatts. And now we're going to uh, turn it on and have it communicate with the base station. And you can see it goes uh, almost into the yellow. It's about uh, 0 0.005 milliwatts per square centimeter when it first communicates. So that again. This is a Logitech M505 wireless mouse. It's uh, running at 2.4 gigahertz with a maximum power of 39 milliwatts. And when I push the button, you can see that it transmits. Or if I move the mouse around, it goes up to about one microwatt per square centimeter. Here we have a typical household microwave oven. Now watch what happens when we turn the, the microwave on to the pizza mode. The meter one foot away. It's about 0 0.2 uh, milliwatts per square centimeter. At a distance of four feet on pizza mode. It's, uh, point, it's one microwatt per square centimeter up to three microwatts per square centimeter. This is a typical smart meter uh, running in Oakville on Oakville Hydro. As you can see, the radiation from the smart meter itself. And all around it is already at about 0 0.02 milliwatts per square centimeter, which is a pretty high reading in general. Um, we can clearly see the pulsation from the smart meter because of all the other electrical equipment around, but we're going to see it on the inside. Now we're going to check that. The smart meter is directly behind the wall on the outside of the building. Uh, the meter is measuring about 0 0.01 microwatt per square centimeter and every 30 seconds it jumps up to almost 1 microwatt per square centimeter when the smart meter sends a ping to the base station. As we're just waiting now for the ping to come. There's the ping now. It's uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.1 to 0.2 microwatts per square centimeter in about every 30 seconds. The astonishing truth, the smart meter is pulsing between 0 0.01 and 1 microwatt per square centimeter. It's a, a good 15 feet from the smart meter through brick walls, through floors. This uh, meter right now is on the second level of the house. The smart meter is on the ground level and the signal is still coming through every 30 seconds of pulsation.